why 20? And when I say why 20, I mean like, why did you choose a name? What was the significance of even creating this in the first place? Like what sparked that okay. idea in your head? So this was um, when I was living out on my own in Riverside 2019. Mm -hmm. I was about to turn 20 years old. like a um, long time coming and yeah. people would always ask me like why is it called 20 if you're like this old and I'm mm -hmm. just like well it's just I, I came up with the idea when I was 19 so I wasn't even 20 yet so it's just like an even longer time and uh, it was a lot of like pent up like emotions that I was getting like I was living on my own for the first time and like that living situation was a little bit complicated mm -hmm. and then um, there was a lot of like personal struggles that I was going through. I was in like therapy at the time. I broke up with someone and like, I was just more so angry over the fact that how I let myself be treated. Mm. And then how- You know I relate to that. Yeah, 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 how I let myself be treated. And then like, um, why I was allowing so many people in my life at that time whether it was like the therapist or like a boyfriend or a family member or my roommate or something like that like make me feel so like belittled like why is it getting to me this much yeah. why and then like i would realize that like almost a year later like how uh how much i changed within that year mm -hmm. and how i was letting things just slide and be the way that they were like on my the night before my 20th birthday I went to like a show or something and then like I was just so angry like the even at friend, the show? yeah the friend who I went with was kind of like oh well like he didn't know that my um birthday was the night like was gonna turn into my birthday the night of the concert right right and it was midnight and then I was like it's actually my birthday right now okay. and then he was like oh well uh you know like happy birthday because uh -huh. it was someone like fairly new okay and I was like on the drive home and then I just realized that like I was so sad I was so angry at like everything in my life and like mostly at myself so it was I pictured, wow, you're like, you're feeling like this on your birthday and here you are, like your family's gonna celebrate you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So it was like, I was in the parking lot of my old job and then I thought I lost this book so I redid the whole thing on like a bigger paper. I see. But the original thing was, I was just gonna carry it on here. But that's how it started. And this is kind of like how it stayed really. Mm -hmm. These like were like the shots you knew for sure. Mm -hmm. So it was like, this is this was in here for like the longest time. So I was like, the only thing I have left is to kind of transfer it on. Mm -hmm. So what I thought of was like birthday cake and like, I just want to like smash something. Yeah. So the idea of like random birthday cake being smashed with a bat yeah. came into play. Yeah. And then that was like the only thing, like nothing else. It was just, that was just what was like playing yeah. in your head. Like and like you saw all of like, the notes that I had in different like journals and stuff throughout mm -hmm. the years and um, it would always change at first it was going to be called uh, Ode to 20 okay um, and then it was just like I would write it down everywhere like birthday cake smashing birthday cake smashing and it was just like a, the repetitive thought but it could never grow into something bigger because I wouldn't let it because I was like I'm not gonna do another short yeah, film. Yeah, because you know what? Now that I think about it, when I when you came to me with this idea, I rem I believe that the only thing you did have was just that scene of just like smashing the cake. Mm -hmm. And I think maybe at the time you had come with the whole like grabbing of the cake and like throwing it, but I'm not sure if you even had that yet. Mm -hmm. Because a lot like developed when like you were like, okay, I do want to do something with this idea, but this is like all I have. Yeah, so it was uh, around the time where well, I told you, I was like, whatever I do with this, because um, my little 
uh, production team, like Future First and stuff. Like I saw, I was working more with them, and that, mm -hmm. at that time I wasn't even in the group. Mm -hmm. But I had all these people and like people that we knew together too, like. Mm -hmm saying so when's the next project yeah, the and then sure. i was like i don't have anything i don't know what to tell you and then they're just like well whatever you have like we're all Support. here yeah to help you yeah. and then like i would look around the room and i'd just be like holy shit like yeah. this is why aren't i doing something then if i can get like all of this right now producer who's DPing. this was before i hit anybody up mm -hmm. um he's just like in your head <clears throat> Yeah, and like whose camera we were gonna use, but a totally uh, no script, finished storyboard, um, equipment check, what I needed in regards of like uh, COVID testing, set month and day, plan outfit, props, yeah. the cake back. A lot of people were like, I don't know, like, uh, this is kind of more leaning more towards not being a film, and I'm just like, I don't know, like, for me, it's still very much a short for myself, mm -hmm. a short film. Mm -hmm. um, and then, like, in class, uh, like, my film studies class, we were just going over, like, um, the history of how things started up and, like, how montages started up. Mm -hmm. So I was just like, so this is considered montage and like how um, I play with like editing and cross-cutting and like what I can do myself and mm -hmm. things like that and what I've learned these since my last two short films yeah so it was mostly just uh, taking inspiration from the things that I've learned and like what I could do right. and then the people that I've met to like what they want to tell me because um, uh, the idea was very like short and like super simple yeah and then i met up with jake who's my dp and mm -hmm. like um he i told him like i wanted to do more locations not just the one thing so I was just kinda, <laughs> and like i met up with him at the time where i only had like one frame drawn out on my storyboard right. and like he was like well you don't have to like stick to this like you could make the cake kind of you know teleport somehow or just like be in the same like match cut it essentially, so all credit to him for the match cut idea. Songs, possible songs that I was gonna use, um, and then more equipment, and then this is kind of like when I figured out the jump cut mm -hmm. from like interior, explain <laughs> to outside, no face show in shown indoors, just hands cake being thrown at wall. And then like you came coming up with the idea with like the the whip at the end like yeah. that thing, so it was like I loved that because I've never really done that before with my ideas. It was always like a here's my whole thing. Yeah, present it. Present it. Yeah, yeah it's bring already it to ready to go. Uh -huh. There is more of like a collaborative mm -hmm. uh, thing that that also which yeah that is another part that I also liked about this process is just how collaborative. It's like every time I saw you, it was like it was just growing and it was like getting mm -hmm. bigger and bigger, and I was like this is so cool. For someone like what's watching your film, right? What would you want them to take out of it? Oh, I have uh, the the note at the beginning. That's right. That ties yeah, into I, it completely. I, I, see, I oh it. my it's, god, it's still, bro! It is still growing. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. There's still more stuff that you're adding, even though like we've already shot. Like, yeah, I added stuff. it in, and I'm gonna show you right now. But oh, like, sorry, it though. is a journal scan. Yeah. from a journal that I had the year, uh, no, well, sometime last year, mm -hmm. um, and it was before any of the shooting was going to take place, but it was when I was thinking about a lot of that stuff, and then a lot more was fueling the anger right. to make this film. So, in the note, it said, like, uh, it's okay to 
feel angry, it's okay to be angry, it's okay to be upset, and that's like just the main thing I wanted to get out like for myself and everybody watching because it's like like how Jaden when he like was seeing things in like midday he was like so what's up you just had a shitty birthday yeah. <laughs> you're just sad <laughs> and I was just Look. like yeah I was just like uh kind of like I can explain really to you later of, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's really deep I'm exactly exactly so I was like you don't want to get into it right now yeah. but uh it was that plus fueled with you can just make whatever the fuck you want yeah. if you have like the accessibility which you do like you never know what you can get until you ask people One, two, three, will you list it off to me? How you're sorry you <laughs> You're like, fuck. Does that get audio too? Yeah, yeah it does. does. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I'm not using audio. <laughs> well, we I feel like you, you, you do really well at like, creating these like films where it's like based with the music and everything, like music video like. Like, do you think that's that's something that is like more in your like genre that you want to like start doing more or like? I wanted to start directing more music videos for uh, friends of mine that I know who are musicians. Yeah. Because I'm just like, if this is the route that I'm going for my personal things, mm -hmm. why haven't I like pitched ideas to like my friends who are musicians? Yeah, who are musicians who like uh, have songs that I'm constantly just listening to, yeah. and like I could actually like do something for yeah, them. Yeah, even if and it's then like it a also simple thing them, too. Yeah. yeah. Like exposure wise, and then little things like that and yeah so I want to start doing that more because directing is the route I want to take for sure. Right on, right on. I love that. I love mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Well this has been great. Um, I think just to kind of wrap things up like we talked about you know just creativity and just the process and like what it means to you and how it dif like it's different from other people but like you know it just works for you or whatever and I, I just really I think that's really interesting just being able to witness this like this segment of your journey so far and just seeing like how far you've come to me. I really appreciate you uh, letting me do this and uh, mm -hmm. sit down and, in like, my face while yeah, I'm editing. Getting, yeah exactly. I, I won't edit it for you. <laughs> Getting all up in your business yeah. and your space and just letting me be here in your space, you know, and talking to me about like all of this because um, I I really just like love your work and just love like the way that you create. Thank you. That's it. We're done. That is all. Is it autofocus? Yeah, I think so. Oh, that's it's, sick. Does it? Does it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, I have great news for you. It is not over. In fact, this conversation was just a bunch of snippets from a full 40 minute conversation Alexa and I had about the story behind her film, her inspiration, and what she's working on next. I will be sharing the full interview on my podcast, The Bakery Tapes, next week. Thank you so much for your support. Here's a little sneak peek into that. Look around the room and I just be like, holy shit, yeah. like this is. Why aren't I doing something then if I can get like all of this right now? So it kind of like catapulted me, kind of like how you said, like you going to my shoot, set it's that off. Crazy. Yeah, you me see going. Other people doing stuff, and you're like, I can, I can do, this do the same thing. Yeah, exactly. Thing. So it started off there, and then I was like, I do have this one idea, and it's so visually like heavy mm -hmm. that I was like, you know what, fuck it, like, everything else kind of had, like, that story arc and yeah. things like that, and, like, it was for a class, so it kind of had to reach, reach certain expectations. Mm -hmm. But this um, one's purely... It's purely because I wanted to. Yeah, your own, like, thing. Mm -hmm. And then I reached out to you to co-direct with me because right. I couldn't really picture anybody else being in the film except myself because mm -hmm. I was like this will be low-key therapeutic yeah and I was like, gonna say that too yeah. like the whole like smashing of like something